about to step up. You want 17 birds? Big ring, I play for the 17 birds. In my line, if you want 17 birds, big ring, I play for the 17 birds. I know a guy, if you want 17 birds, big ring, I play for the 17 birds. I know a guy, if you want 17 birds, big ring, I play for the 17 birds. Yeah, I'm from the 17. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I'm the best reporting on the Eagles. Listen, before we get into the meat and potatoes, I gotta just say shout out to y'all. Shout out to everybody you know that 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 grabbed the hurt season hats. The link for the description is in the bio. I can't thank you guys enough for that. For rallying behind an underdog who was proven to be exactly what I knew he could shape out to be. He's proven to be that. He's proved the doubters wrong. For me, this season started out. For you, for me, this season started out with the mindset of Jalen Hurts taking the next leap. Jalen Hurts taking the next leap. But as a guy who has sit and watched, who who's seen this team win a championship fairly recently, I understand that it takes a team to do that. Your quarterback could be as good as anything if the team ain't all together, offense, defense, special teams. Then it's real hard to win a Super Bowl that way. We got a team that could win a Super Bowl. We got an area on a defense that could cost you games. And I feel like we got a defensive coordinator who's too stubborn to understand that his scheme need to change in order for us to go where we want to go. I'm happy for the additions of Indomitian Sue. I'm happy for Limbaugh Joseph being in the building. I'm happy, I'm happy to, you know, have more fresh legs to keep guys like Fretch Flesh. I mean Fletch Fresh. I'm happy to have C. Hargrave get a break. Milton Williams, I'm, I'm, I want to see him thrown in there more. I'm happy to see how this thing is going to unfold. But I fear if the scheme don't change, it won't matter. It won't matter. What's more important, player additions or a great scheme? We've seen coaches come in the door and change things for players that was already there before. You rarely see the addition of players change things unless a scheme change is being made. Guys are coached to play the game a certain way. The illusion. The, 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 now, listen, we took an L. We took an L last week. You got to believe me when I tell you this, that this is not about the commanders. It can't be about the commanders. We all been watching football. You've seen the Jets upset Brady and Belichick from time to time. You've seen the Dolphins do it too from time to time. This is not about a 5-5 five and five ball club who putting chains on the backup quarterback neck next to a defensive tackle who pulls to be some type of <laughs> generational talent who ain't even playing that game. This ain't about them. They are minuscule to the plans that we got. They could never be 8-0. It's not about them guys, man. It's about us looking ourselves in the mirror. Looking ourselves in the mirror and saying, do we want our Achilles heel to be something as minute as not being able to stop the run when the rest of the national sports media told Philadelphia fans that it was going to be the quarterback? They were wrong. They were wrong. It's a lot of good names on this defensive line. Jonathan Gannon will never, and I mean will never, have a defense this talented. Will never have a defense this talented. You want to go out there and play zone when you got the, the league leader in picks out there? You want to go out there and play zone when you lead the league in picks? Put pressure on quarterbacks and let your good let your good secondary eat. It's as simple as that. And if you 4-3, buddy. 4-3, Kaiser White can cover. Nicobe Dean is smart. T.J. Edwards can cover and tackle Kaiser White. Come on, man. We are putting players in positions to not succeed. Listen, I understand why our cornerbacks got all them interceptions, why our secondary eating away has been eating this year. Jonathan Gannon was a defensive back coach. He's putting one area of guys in a position to succeed. But once you become a defensive coordinator, you got to put the entire defense in an area to succeed. And how do you do that? By getting the opposing team off the field, no matter how you do it, for some punts. You cannot allow guys with the caliber of talent of Taylor Heineke to run down the field five times for scoring drives on you. Unacceptable, man. 
Unacceptable. Change the scheme to a 4-3. Get some more damn linebackers on the field. Play some more big nickel. I don't give a damn. Put some more people in the box. Don't go out like this. Completely unacceptable if you ask me. I'm cool with the addition of players, but the scheme got to change. We need to see more linebackers on the field. And I think a 4-3 suits, the, 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 the suits what we have on the roster. It suits what we do. It suits who we are. At the beginning of the season, Jonathan Gannon told us all that we will, we have the talent to bring. Last year, the excuse was there wasn't no talent for the defensive side of the ball. Now it's more than enough talent. Why don't we have different packages? Why don't we have different packages? Why do we do the same thing and we just rotate guys out of doing the same thing? Why are we seeing only 10 men on the field? When you see 10 men on the field, that means guys don't know where to be. Guys don't know what package they belong to. Get this together, man. Nick Sirianni going to have to step in. He going to have to step in. He going to have to step in. Howie Roseman understands the problem and gets you even more talent. You have enough talent before you got Sue and before you got uh, Linval to fix this. You had the talent to fix it. The personnel was wrong. The personnel was wrong. What you thought you saw was wrong. I'm glad this happened when it happened, y'all. I am glad this happened when it happened. I'll tell you that right now. Ecstatic that this has happened when it happened. A lot of time left to correct it. A lot of time to prove you could stop the runners. A lot of good running backs left. Saquon, Tice, Sa Saquon twice. King Henry. Aaron Jones. That combination of Zeke and Pollard. Hope I ain't missing nobody. A lot of people still out there. Jonathan Taylor tomorrow. Prove to me that you can stop the run. Prove to the city that you can stop the run. Because we all watching. How do you respond from this? How do you respond from this? Notice I have nothing bad to say about the offense. Because Quez don't do that. Do what he did. Quez don't do what he did. Missed calls happen all the time. With all the missed calls and everything, we still had an opportunity to win that game. Still had an opportunity to win that game. Yeah, yeah, momentum, momentum got snatched away from us. Still had an opportunity to come back and beat them dudes because they're not on our level. Our competition is what they talk about. It, the bill, can we beat the Bills? And that's our competition. But the Commanders, we don't beef with them. We ain't beefing with the last place team. We beefing with greatness. And Jonathan Gannon could potentially be in the way of our greatness. Let me know what you think in the comments. What up?